I don't have bad ideas. I have good ideas that turn out to be bad. Now, I don't know what happens in between, but something does. Because, like, no matter what I do, it's bad. If I try and fix it, it makes it worse. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I should just stop having ideas. And before you ask, I do not condone underage drinking. I don't. I'm a responsible 17 year old. So don't do the drink. Ever. Okay. I just want to say. Last thing I'm going to say. Last thing. There's nothing good about a goodbye. Except for the possibility that it might not be your last one. Now for me. Every single goodbye I've ever had has been the last one. Except for the first one. Uh, though technically the first one was the second to last. So it really doesn't mean much. Uh, mm. Unless of course. The second to last one is really the last last one. In which case I've only said goodbye. Twice. In my entire life. <laughs> Does that make any sense? <laughs> my mom. She was basically like someone took. A character trait. From all the characters of friends. And combined them. Like. Like. Of alcohol in my hands. <laughs> I need this. And my mom, she was basically like someone took one personality trait from each character of Friends and combined them into one person. So it's kind of like she had the wistfulness of Phoebe, the simplicity of Joey. She's picky like Monica, quick-witted like Chandler, really annoying like Rachel. What's the other one? I can't remember the other one. <laughs> anyway, she's like, someone took one personality trait from each of them, one, and combined them all. And then my aunt... My aunt's kind of like Janice, like she has that really whiny toned everything she says and it's just insufferable and you just won't even believe it until you hear it. It's just, especially her funerals would be she wanted to sound extra whiny for so it was like, I should have friggin heard it. I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it for you. She did um... Gan of Hannah, our dear sister's death, the memory be green. And that it has befitted to bear our hearts in grief and our whole family to be contracted in one brow of wow. <laughs> Yet yeah, so far. Had discretion fought with nature. The we with wise think of her. Together with remembrance of ourselves. Woo. Oh my god. Oh, it's just horrible. Horrible speech. Awful. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Mine would have been so much better. I don't even care how straight it is.
I don't even. So what do I give a damn about straightness? <laughs> nope. Okay. So. <laughs> the original point that I think I made this video for was that everybody dies. <laughs> and it doesn't matter how powerful or how perfect or how pleasant you are. Everyone dies. <laughs> but everyone lives as well. So death is common, right? But that doesn't make it any easier. When someone is murdered, we don't just shrug it off and say, oh well. There are consequences. There are always consequences. There always were consequences for everything, at least everything that I did. And there should be. When someone dies, something should be affected, something should change. No one should be forgotten. <coughs> but, if there's one thing my aunt has ever, ever been right about, it's that we don't die with them. You know? They die, but we're still alive, and that's important to remember, because, you know, if you can live without it, then it doesn't really matter. So maybe nothing really matters except the things you need to survive, which are like, like air, water, food, and that's really it, you really don't need anything else. I mean, all the other things are nice little gifts, but I think that do, 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 I'm, I mean, of course it's sad when you lose something, but the fact is you'll always be losing stuff. It can be anything from a memory to your keys to your one true love, you know? You can lose anything in your life, but you can't lose yourself, not really. There's sea of variables in your life, and the one constant is you. Everything is subject to change, or leave, or go, or come back, or whatever it does. But you, you will always have you. So you can lose everything except yourself. You are constant as the northern star. Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that amazing? Everything is so fleeting except for you. <laughs> You're the one thing you'll have all your life. Other people, other things will come and go, but you'll always be there. We are not as simple as we think we are, are we? <laughs> I'm bad at this, aren't I? <laughs> anyway, my point. What was my point anyway? My point was to get drunk and make a video. And along the way, I start talking about philosophy, <laughs> drinking all my aunt's old liquor. What was I talking about? What was I going to say? Mm -hmm. I was going to go on and on and on about how amazing people are. How wonderful and not complex being human is. I was going to go on and on and on about how special and important people are. I can't just talk, can I? What a piece of work is man. How noble in reason, how infinite in faculty. In form and moving, how express and admirable. In action, how like an angel. In apprehension, how like a god. 
beauty of the world, the paragon of animals. And yet, to me, what is this quintessence of dust? <laughs> Man delights, not me. No, not woman either, so don't even laugh. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking now before I pass out. Good night, or goodbye. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I would like to say a thing. It's an important thing, too, so you should listen. There's nothing good about a goodbye. <coughs> except the possibility that it might not be your last. Now, for me, every single goodbye I've ever had has been the last, except for the first one. Though, technically, the first one was the second to last, so it really doesn't mean much. Unless, of course, the second to last one is really the last, last one. In which case, I've said goodbye twice. 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 <laughs> In my entire life. <laughs> Isn't that sad?